Alex Snyder in the lemon yellow tank top is running with his training coach. His twin brother Jamie, seen here running with his mother, is also training. The identical twin brothers are here at Bethpage Park preparing to compete in the upcoming Suffolk County Marathon. Easy. Alex is the faster of the two and competes at a higher level. So we're sort of limited in that all we can do is run, so uh, we make sure that his three or four runs a week have some quality in them, hill works, uh, some tempo work. Go this way, we're gonna go run on the hill. All right. See you later, Allie. Their limitations are many. At 26 years old, both Alex and Jamie are severely autistic and running is their form of therapy. We just needed to find something that was gonna make them happy and Fortunately, both of them are very athletic, and so we got them into all kinds of activities, um, basketball and horseback riding. Then we lucked out because we discovered that they enjoyed running. And ever since then, it's, it's just been, um, it's been really, really a wonderful opportunity for them, both physically, emotionally, behaviorally, in so many different ways and affected my, my family in, in so many positive ways as well. Things weren't always positive. And a diagnosis of autism for the children at 21 months old after birth wasn't easy to accept for the Schneider family. Accepting that both of our children have autism even now has been a constant challenge. Knowing that the disorder has no known cure or cause, so the family decided that running would be the main therapeutic activity. Once I realized that they were not were going down the path of a cure for autism and they weren't going to be typical, they weren't going to be going to the prom, they weren't going to be driving a car. They can't even tell me when they have to go to the bathroom. So, you know, once I knew that that was not going to be their path, I just wanted to make them happy. Whatever it, get, it takes to make them happy, if it's horseback riding, if it's swimming, you know, running was the number one thing. And so everything now is scheduled around our running days whether it's going to school or going to, I mean, I take them out of their program to, to run. Um, running is important and, you know, for so many different ways, emotionally and physically. So, and hopefully it will continue on as they get older. As the boys have matured into men, the challenges have gotten tougher. Schneider chronicles those challenges in her book, Silent Running, Our Family's Journey to the Finish Line with Autism, a story of how running saved their lives. I really felt that I wanted to get our story out in the world. And it's a story about my, my sons and the struggles that we went through as a family from beginning to end. It's, it's from their double diagnosis of autism all the way to the finish line of their first marathon. There's not a lot out there in terms of stories and um, even movies and you know other kinds of articles about kids on the low end of the spectrum that need some kind of an outlet whether it be running or something else and the fact that we were fortunate enough to find an outlet in running I wanted to share that with um, with other people to inspire them to give them hope uh, to share what we went through and how we overcame um, many, many, many challenges along the way and continue to do so. Good. Head up. Nice. Although the brothers cannot speak or communicate, their success at running has certainly gained national attention. Collectively, both have completed 23 marathons, displaying a work ethic that very few runners can compare. Alex, the fastest of the runners, has been relentless. Kevin McDermott has trained the runners for more than 10 years. With most of the athletes that I've run with or coached, you know, they'll be having a bad day where they can't finish a workout or, you know, they've got cramps, side stitches, this hurts, that hurts. Oh, coach, what, 10 miles? No, not today, you know, but Ali's up for it. You know, he's probably the longer, the better for him. He likes to run. Uh, he likes to run around 7.30 pace. He likes to get into like a zone and just, and just go. There have been so many people from all over, um, in Holland, in Switzerland, Australia, people that you know, have been contacting me and talking about their own child, or whether it's a runner that's inspired by what my sons have been able to do with their, um, with their running. So in that res respect, it's just an, an added plus and you know, icing on the cake. And so I'm, I'm really grateful for that. For more on the story of Alex and Jamie Schneider, go to autismrunners.com. For Push Pause in Bethpage, 
This is Archie Snowden. 